Yo, what's up guys? How are you guys doing? I hope you're having an amazing day. We are back with some more ARC Mobile. Today is going to be a little bit different guys, but before we get into that, if you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe if you're enjoying the content and smash that like button and share the video with your friends, comment, leave feedback, whatever you want guys. Everything is appreciated. So thank you very much to all my people who are subscribed and all my fans and everyone that helps support me making these videos now guys today we're gonna to be talking about the developer roadmap so they've had a couple of these roadmaps in the past they come up they talk about some stuff and then they end up coming out with a few of the items but not all of them well the other day they came out with another roadmap for September October and November December and even into 2019 so the first thing we're going to talk about is the toxicant arrows so I'm assuming the toxicant arrows will be something a little bit stronger than narcotic arrows I'm assuming there might be as strong as maybe like the biotoxin or something of that sort so that's going to be something else in the engrams that you can learn to basically go craft and hopefully be able to knock out stuff a lot quicker so it is going to be nice having another variant of something to knock out creatures with and not just narco arrows and um darts and trank and shocking trank darts so it's always nice to have new content added to the game i really really enjoy it now the next thing they brought up in the list is tribe ascension so basically from what i understand tribe ascension is where if you were the alpha tribe on a server and you will get all sorts of i guess um they didn't really say what you will get, but basically, if you if your tribe's alpha tribe, you your tribe will ascend. Now, this means all your dinos will get wiped, but they didn't specifically say what you will get. They just said that that tribe will get something awesome. But me personally, I don't know if I want all my dinosaurs wiped. So hopefully, if they offer the tribe ascension, maybe they'll give you a choice. Hey, you're the alpha tribe, but do you want to ascend? Do you not want to ascend? And also, if you ascend four, if you ascend, or if you say the Alpha Tribe, or ascend four times in a month, you will get access to a special Tribe Ascension server. So that would be one good thing. Even though your dinosaurs would wipe, you would get access to a Tribe Ascension server, whatever they will call it. So you'll get access to a special server, and I'm sure they'll have all sorts of awesome stuff for you there. Me personally. You know, I might get into that. I might try to become an alpha tribe and ascend. It's kind of hard to do with how many people play, but with all my following, I bet we could do it. I bet I can make a tribe, and I bet we could ascend. Now, the next thing we talk about is the archetypes. So these are going to be special stuff they add in on solo, like what I'm on right now. And one of them is going to be the Eerie Pistol. And then you have... Let me look at my notes here. Then you have a... Um, a crowbar and then a cutlass sword and iron skillet as long as frog feet which will make you jump really high and it does something else I can't remember but it will make you jump really high so those are going to be the archetype items added in to solo so I can't wait for those those are going to be pretty great here all right let's land we've been flying too long let's get off the pteranodon and run around for a second while we talk about the rest of these Okay, so next thing we're going to be talking about is daily pursuits and more pursuits. So basically they're going to be adding more daily pursuits you can do to get all sorts of other stuff. Um, so just instead of the ones we have now, you're going to have more stuff to do. Even if you are the Alpha Tribe, you'll have more stuff to do along with the Tribe Ascension. <laughs> So, I don't know about y'all, I don't often do pursuits, unless I'm on like a PVX server or PVE, um, that helps you level up. So, I've been trying to get into pursuits a lot more than I used to be. So, new pursuits, it's also going to be very, very great. It's going to help keep you busy 
you're going to have something to do and you're going to be able to level up even more. And the next thing is they're adding more PVX servers, which is awesome because right now, as you know, there is only one public. They're adding more public PVX server because right now there is only one public PVX server for North America, Europe, and Asia. So adding more is going to be awesome. Um, oh, look, it's a Dimorph, guys. Let's go chase it. Come back. Come back, come to me. Oh wait, I forgot I'm flying. I was like, why am I going up in the air? Okay, next thing. All it says on the list, as you can see, is platform, tr it's, it's gonna, or tree platform. So I don't know if they're gonna add like, I think they said they're gonna add snap points, or you're gonna be able to build on the tree platform, or something of that sort. So basically they're gonna be adding new stuff with that, which is awesome, because right now it is a pain in the butt to build on tree platforms. If you've ever tried building a bridge from one tree platform to another, unless you're low to the ground, you can't do it because of height limits and stuff like that. So hopefully they add a whole bunch more, um, I don't know, whatever building materials to be able to connect tree platform to tree platform, all sorts of stuff like that would be very, very awesome and really great to add. So, I think we've pretty much gone over everything on the first list. Let's see, we got Daily Pursuit. We got, oh, Brutal Difficulty servers on there, which we've already gotten. So, we already know about that, which is what I'm playing on right now is Brutal. Oh, God, there's a Spino. Run! Run, Tranodon! Let's put our Tranodon on neutral, just in case he gets attacked. All right, so now the next thing... On the next list, as you can see, you got Server Refresh, Perlovia, Otter, Equus, how you pronounce that, which is basically a horse. Um, let's talk a little bit about Server Refresh. So basically on a Server Refresh, if your server has 10 or less people on like a daily basis, they're basically going to wipe the server. And if you are on that server, there is another thing farther down the list that says server transfer, which means you can go from server to server and it has to be of the same difficulty. It cannot be from a easy server to a hard server or a hard server to an easy server. But so if you're on a server that's going to get wiped, they're going to give you plenty of notice, probably even two, three weeks notice that that server will be wiped. And then they will give you what is like a ticket, a transfer ticket, which Normally you will have to buy, but if you're on one of those servers that's going to be wiped, you will get one of those for free and you'll be able to transfer you, your dinos, your ingram, or your dino, your dino implant, your ingrams, and all that stuff. So if you're on one of those servers, guys, don't worry about it. You will be able to transfer. Sure, it probably will suck, but it's not the worst thing in the world. At least they're not just going to wipe it and not give you anything out of it. So to talk a little bit about the Perlovia Otter and the Equus. I'm pretty sure the, is it the Perlovia? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Perlovia is going to be coming first. I'm not 100% sure. I think that's just what it sounds like. And you also have the Trudon. I forgot the Trudon. But I think they had a video the other day about the Perlovia. So that should be coming pretty soon. I hope so. So we're getting four new dinos pretty soon, guys, which is awesome. I really wish we would get Wyverns. I know Wyverns weren't normally on this map, but I really wish they would add them to it. That's like my favorite dinosaur. So maybe one day they will. And then they said TLC update, which is very vague. I'm sure it will kind of be like, you know, how they did the RG TLC update and the Wolf update, all that stuff. There's always stuff that the game on console and PC is updating. So new TLC updates is always welcome. And let's see what else we have. Server rental. That is a big one. So a lot of people are excited for server rental, which basically means you will pay and you'll rent a server. I don't know if it will be monthly, if it will be yearly. I'm assuming probably monthly. I don't know. I'm sure they're going to have a right to be able to buy monthly, yearly, whatever you want. So definitely plan on me buying a private server, guys, or renting a private server so you all of you guys can come play on it. Plus, it'd be nice to maybe have a couple private servers so you and your friends can just play on it like me and say five, six other people. That way you don't have to compete. The server shouldn't be that laggy. Hopefully there is not that many bugs. 
on the server rental and then there is also special events which i'm sure is just kind of like now you know how we have the three times harvesting um and then we have like the baby boom event so they're going to be adding new special events like that we have no idea what they are they basically just added those in there and said special events so a lot of the stuff they are being very vague about but i'm definitely excited for a lot of the other stuff they're adding that they weren't vague about um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we missed before we get to the most important, awesome part. I think we have got everything, guys, on those two lists. If I miss anything, let me know besides what we're about to talk about. So on this last part you just see pop up, they are adding a place you've never seen before. So apparently we are going to be getting a new map. And it sounds like it's not going to be a map that PC has, that console has. It sounds like it's going to be a mobile exclusive map, which is awesome. Like, that's just great that they're actually doing that for mobile players instead of just giving us, you know, Scorched Earth or the Center or Ragnarok. Granted, I would love all of those maps, but we are going to be getting our own exclusive because if you watch Routrine's video in Discord the other day, someone said Scorched Earth question mark and they said that would be a place you've seen before. So it's not going to be Scorched Earth, it's not going to be Ragnarok, any of those places. So I'm very, very excited to get a new map. It's not that this map's getting old, it's just when you have variety like that, like, hey, I'm going to hop onto my blah, blah, blah map today, or I'm going to hop onto the center map, or just whatever. Um, it's just nice to be able to have that and be able to have a little bit of variety. I've been trying to knock this guy out while we're talking, but it's kind of hard to talk and knock someone out at the same time. So I'm pretty sure that is about everything that they have covered in the roadmap. If you'll have any questions or any concerns, comments, leave them down in the comment section. And if you also, if you are enjoying, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel. And I think that's it, guys. As always, take it one day at a time. Peace. That I'm at an all time.